Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to monitor your network using Backtrack 3. To do this, you will only need the Backtrack 3 live CD and you must be connected to the network that you want to monitor. I'm running Backtrack 3 in VMware and I will be monitoring the network data off my Windows Vista computer. You don't need to do this this way, but it makes it easier to explain how it's done. As you can see, with my Windows Vista computer, I am connected to the network. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so let's open up Backtrack 3 and first make sure that you're actually connected to the internet. Okay, so I'm going to open up Firefox and as you can see, I'm connected to the internet. Okay, so let's open up a shell and we're going to type in Ettercap E-T-T-E-R-C-A-P minus capital T minus Q, minus P, minus capital M, capital A-R-P, forward slash, forward slash, space, forward slash, forward slash. What this does, it starts the A-R-P poisoning and intercepts some usernames and passwords. The minus T command tells Ethercap to use text only. The minus Q tells Ethercap not to display the entire packet content, but only the good stuff which we want. Minus P tells Ethercap not to change your interface into promiscuous mode. The minus M starts the man in the middle attack, which are going to be using the ARP poisoning. Okay, so let's hit enter and start Ethercap. Okay, so it found three people on the network. So now it's going to be listed again for some basic network information. Okay, so let's open up on my Windows Vista computer, an internet browser, and let's go to youtube.com. And let's hit sign in. And my username kb 12 k let's sign in under a fake password, 123456. Sorry, your login was successful. Okay, but as you can see, Ethercap picked up username kb 12 k Password 123456 under YouTube.com. Okay, so let's hit Q and that will disable Ethercap. Okay, let's start our next network monitoring tool, which is called DriftNet. DriftNet intercepts pictures and sometimes audio. I will save it to a folder that we select. Okay, first let's designate a folder. Let's open up home and just type in, well, let's name it anything we want. I'm going to call it images. Okay. Now, let's open up a new shell and type in driftnet minus a minus d forward slash root forward slash images minus s minus p minus i f zero minus a tells driftnet that the images should be sent to the directory file minus d sets where the directory file is in which I selected root images minus s tries to get the audio as well Minus P tells DriftNet not to change the interface into promiscuous mode. Minus I selects which interface to use, in which I am going to be using F0. Okay, now let's start DriftNet. Let's hit enter. Okay, now in my Windows Vista computer, I'm going to open up Internet Browser. And let's just browse a couple of web pages. Go to YouTube. Okay, a lot of pictures here. Let's go to Google.com and select images. And let's just type in web. Okay, I got a whole bunch of images. Okay, now let's see what it captured. Okay, so as you can see, it pulled in three images. 
don't know what they are. Okay. So I pulled in this image. Not sure where that was. This image. And, well, the Google image. Okay, well, it picks up different images from different sources. Now, as soon as you end DriftNet by pushing Control c these files get automatically deleted. So, what you should do is, the files that you want to keep, click Copy, and save them to somewhere else. Let's click, let's create a new folder, Save Images. And let's paste it into here. So you could leave DriftNet going all day and just capture a whole bunch of data. And then just go through it and choose the ones that you want to keep. Okay, so let's end DriftNet now. Control C. And as you can see, the images file, they're all deleted now. And you still have the one which we captured beforehand. Okay. Okay, let's start my final network monitoring tool called URL Snarf. URL Snarf intercepts websites' URLs and displays them on the screen. Okay, let's close this and open up a new shell. And let's type in URL S N A R F minus I F zero. Minus I tells it to select an interface in which we're selecting F zero. Okay, let's get on to it. URL snarf listening on F0. Okay. Now, on my Windows Vista computer, let's open up an internet browser. And google.com opened up. Great. Let's type in yahoo.com. And let's type in youtube.com. Okay. Now let's close it. Okay. As you can see, Google.com, Yahoo.com, and YouTube.com. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start these three programs at the same time. Start EnterCap, start DriftNet, and I'll start URL Start. Okay, as you can see, with these three programs, EdderCap, DriftNet, and your RailSnarf, you can accurately monitor your network, and you will be able to get username, passwords, pictures, and URLs. Alright, so, 